Hello and welcome to NCTV 45 and um, on various occasions I step up and uh, do a live report and uh, just to get in touch with those watching and uh, the various people that uh, tune in and watch NCTV 45 and I thank you. I'd like to thank you for the warm comments that were given to our Meet the Candidate. And uh, hello, Eric. Uh, good to see you. Um, when we did Meet the Candidate, and uh, we've done this for years, it's been a very fair, a very um, ch good chance and a great opportunity for people to um, who are running for office to get their views out, tell their possible constituents what they're thinking, um, what they want to do, and I wanted to put that like that so that I could see. Well, earlier today, it came to my attention. Now, there's a person who is running for mayor, uh, and um, it is not on the Democratic ticket. It is on the Republican ticket. Um, a debate challenge was issued by Albert Conti. Now, when we were at the various Meet the Candidate functions outside of NCTV 45, and I respectfully did not photograph or comment on any of those things, when we were outside of that, I said to that candidate about calling NCTV 45. That candidate didn't do it, okay? And we went on. Now, um, that's fine because that doesn't have to be done in any type of way. I don't, <laughs> you know, hold a gun to somebody's head and tell them they have to come to NCTV 45. Everybody has a right to choose. And I've had people on this show that I've agreed with, people that I've disagreed with. But nevertheless, what I've always said is everybody deserves the right to be heard. Well, that being said, the challenge was issued by Albert Conti. And uh, there had become some idea of having a debate on NCTV 45 between these two candidates. Well, apparently, and, you know, by now, you know, we're talking about the Republican side, and the Republican side was Chris Fry. I called Chris Fry today and left a message. As of this time, which is 5.30, I have not heard from Chris Fry. I did hear from some of his constituents that asked about airing the debate someplace else. And I promptly said no. Um, we, have, um, we have a product here at NCTV 45, and it's a good product. Now, if Chris Fry doesn't wish to come here, that's Chris Fry's opportunity or opinion or whatever. He's not obligated to come to NCTV 45 and get there and uh, talk or do anything. Um, we obligate nobody to watch us. We have a good audience. We do things that are in the Lawrence County, Newcastle community interests. 
We don't uh, tell people who to vote for. We don't come up with these wild and crazy things. We inform the public culturally, sports-wise, and we're proud of the product we put out. Okay? We don't feel that it's anybody else's obligation to have to watch us or do anything. But it is interesting that um, this candidate didn't return a phone call. And the best we could do was an instant message and didn't recognize us as a small business. That's how it is. That's how it is. That's fine. There's no obligation. But um, I told people that I'll put out the facts. These are the people that are running. We've had various people on our station. I appreciate and friend them all and wish them all a good luck in the upcoming election. It's up to the electorate of Lawrence County to choose. It isn't my choice. I will vote, okay? And by the same token, I will urge you to vote and consider all of the issues and everything you've heard, not just here, but elsewhere. And understand that that's the important thing. As we come up to um, May 1st, and I guess, what, we're 21 days away from this election, I wanted to take the opportunity to get out in front of the story in case somebody says, well, why wasn't it held at NCTV 45? Why, well, this candidate didn't show up, no. That's not true. This was the challenge that was issued. This is what was done. Okay, and so don't try and twist it. Don't try and make it something it isn't. I'm just putting that out there. Um, and these upcoming days, everybody else running for office, still welcome. I have no qualms. Everybody is treated fairly, equally, and with dignity here. And uh, I intend that to be the way going forward. Um, yes, uh, on Newswatch, we've already announced about the Pittsburgh Steelers playing. Thank you on May 1st. Uh, I wanted you to know that. Uh, but let's be clear once again, okay, the challenge was issued by Albert Conti. Invitations were extended to Chris Fry to come on the station, both personally, and I gave him my card at the Hoyt, and the best he did was ask me to call him, and I sent him a text or an instant message, whatever you want to call it, and I was con con contacted by somebody very close to Chris, and I explained my position. And um, as of 5.35 tonight, I have not heard from him. There has been no message asking or wanting to come in, wanting to talk to me on or off air. So um, don't let, and I'm getting out in front of the story again, don't let the Facebook misrepresentations 
that could say, oh, somebody didn't show up, or this didn't happen, or that didn't happen, don't play that game. Because if that occurs, then I will, in no uncertain terms, straighten out the facts. We're not going to play any games. I got all the phone records. I got all the text records. And I know exactly what was said. Now, I'm not going to beleaguer a point. It's supper time, and I hope you all have a very good supper, a nice dinner. I also hope that tonight you find some time to watch NCTV 45, News Watch. Maybe you want to watch Mercy Sunday Mass from this weekend, Community Happenings. There's a lot of great things on that you can watch and enjoy. And remember, we're available anytime on your time. Always, always in the pursuit of excellence. It's NCTV 45. Make sure you tell a friend. And uh, I thank you for your viewership. I thank you for your friendship. And uh, anytime there's a question, don't hesitate because uh, the buck stops here and I have no problem with answering them. Have a pleasant evening and uh, anytime on your time, we're NCTV 45. Take it easy and we'll see you as I try and find my... There we go. Bye-bye for now.